It was two years ago today, a murder that devastated our community. An 11 year old boy, Josue Flores, stabbed to death as he walked home from school. Tonight, he's being remembered in the very neighborhood where that attack happened. Channel 2's Sophia Beausoleil, live in North Houston, where a vigil was just held for Josue. Sophia? Anything else? Dominique, such a sad story, and the vigil ended about an hour ago. You know, they talked about everything that they've accomplished in the past two years when it comes to having walking programs. Police say that violent crimes are down. They even talked about um, Jose Flores' act, which gives funding for kids in areas that are dangerous that they can have transportation home. But with all of that, everybody just wants the person who's responsible for Jose's death to be arrested. We all need Two years later, and the pain of Josue Flores' death is still very fresh. We want justice. Josue's family, the community, along with police and elected officials gathered to remember the 11 year old. In 2016, Josue was on his way home from school when someone stabbed him more than 20 times along this fence. I'm feeling sad. Stella Morales Walters created Safe Walk Home North Side after Josue was killed to help protect other students. We need to come together, we need to reignite the fuel and close this case. It's, it's a tragedy on a tragedy. Everyone thought police solved the case when they arrested a man named Andre Jackson. But last summer, the Harris County District Attorney's Office dropped charges against Jackson because of inconclusive forensic evidence. Justice has not been served at this point. All we can do is keep trying. Many people, including Houston Police Chief R. Acevedo, believe Jackson was the killer. Well, obviously, the police chief is convinced he was the right person, but he's acknowledged we have to have the right evidence as well when we bring a matter in court. We want answers. We want to know what's going on with his case. Sonia Parker says she is a friend of the Flores family, and she, like many, are frustrated police have not found the little boy's killer. And even today, police are asking if you know anything when it comes to Josue's death, please contact them. They need any type of information possible. Reporting live from North Houston, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Yeah, this case has certainly taken many twists and turns over the past two years. We have a timeline of all those developments on our website at click2houston.com.